Hey, it's Popeye from FederalJack.com. Don't miss my show, Down the Rabbit Hole, Wednesday and Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, on the Orion Talk Radio Network. This is the point from which I can never return And if I back down now, then forever I burn This is the point from which I can never retreat Cause if I turn back now, there can never be peace This is the point from which I will die and succeed Living the struggle, I know I'm alive when I bleed From now on, it can never be the same as before Cause the place that I'm from doesn't exist anymore This is the point of Welcome back return. guys This Mary is Sunday, June 26, 2011 And it's down the rabbit hole i am joined today by now three of my good friends will say hello everybody knows bob and jj are on but introduce yourself say hello will hello everyone okay everybody yeah. will will you don't everyone. follow instructions very well <laughs> say hello will no i'm just kidding <laughs> jeez that's the oldest one in the book nobody ever does it either how many people do you think if that's like homo says what and people go what Sphincter says what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not stupid enough to fall for it either. I'm waiting for Bob to go, huh? I'm oh, on, boy. Uh, I'm Jeez. on the skeptical crap blog right now, boys. I'm trying to find uh, something. But I notice he, right at the top, is a article called A Sneak Preview of Things to Come. And he talks about... His little meeting with Richard Gage about a month ago when you interviewed him and you got a chance to meet him, Bob. And I believe he actually sat down and interviewed you. And uh, he, um, he's talking about somebody put up a video and I guess they were talking bad about him, explaining you know who he was and you know whatever. And uh, he's all upset about it. You know, and he wrote yeah, a little – I see this little blog. He's got uh, – he's see the little blurb about it? I, I've called him up several times to invite him to come on the show because I think that would be great. But uh, he's dodged all my phone calls, hasn't got back to me. When I met him face to face, he agreed to come on the show and was like, yeah, no problem. I don't think well, he's Well, I know up, he though. listens to my show and your show. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'll put it out there right now. You know, anytime you want to come on, dude, and come on my channel or, you know, come on the network here or come on Bob's net, you know, over at Oracle, get on their network and get on Bob's show, we're willing to sit down and debate you. We won't make fun of you. I won't call you names. I will debate you with scientific research and evidence and fact that you cannot say, oh, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, you can't debate it. It is fact that happened. And I'm either Bob on his show or me on my show or you can come on here and the two of us will debate you here or we can both debate you on Bob's show wherever you're more comfortable please come on we would love to debate you about how you, you know all the evidence of 9-11 because you seem to like to rag on uh, Richard Gage and architects and engineers and the 9-11 truth movement and try to put out to your students that and these other young impressionable minds that may see your blog that we're all crazy. So you want to talk smack, you want to run your mouth, come on my show, come on Bob's show and back up what you say in your blog, fat. Do you see this guy on his comments? He's responding to intellectual responses from Brother Cameron up there in We Are Change, Atlanta. He's doing a lot of great work, and it was great to get to work with Cameron. And Cameron's been engaging this guy. He actually sent me a nice email asking me to help. And we're doing what we can to expose him, Cameron. But he responds to your uh, comments. If you look at the thread for the mo most recent article, he's responding with photos kittens this is a college professor responding with photos of kittens if this isn't a part of the psyop i don't know what is oh that's why i said i the guy can't be the stuff that he does there's no way that this guy doesn't get paid to do this there's no way or, and, or he's and not, he can't come up with any kind of science to prove anything. Yes, Just, he, he, his answer is probably to laugh. Well, that's not real. Good. <laughs> but to send a picture of a kidding? kitten is the equivalent of an ad hominem attack. That's like yeah. you saying something to me, JJ, me responding even with, worse. Well, you're just a yeah. conspiracy theorist. It's even worse. Bag. Yeah, it's saying you're just a moron and I don't even know. Well, it just goes to show you that nobody can look. Anybody that even a real skeptic. Would at least sit, would would try to argue what, his point. 
You know, well, I know a lot of skeptics. We should at least be skeptical my, of things that on their My face. older brother is a skeptic, and when I try to get things across to him, I'll argue with him forever. He's a skeptic about a lot of stuff. Trust me, I know what it's like to deal with people like that. This guy is not being skeptical. He's being almost like, um, like a disinfo troll, you know, like a little troll trying to get out there and trying to just completely, you know, get his little troll fingers inside and, and try to get people to think that you're crazy. That's what he's acting like, but this guy's supposed to be a school professor. Why would there even be a class on conspiracies in a university? Because universities are all about brainwashing students anyway. I, I understand that. I'm just saying. And the CIA controls all the major universities anyway. They so have wait, uh, at least are, one are, implanted at every one of them. So are this conspiracy theory class, are they speaking for conspiracy theories or against them? I'm, I'm not no, sure. No, no, debunking them. Yeah, Debun he's debunking oh, okay. them. He's, he's proving how the crazy we scientific are. Amer or the yeah, he, he, popular mechanics probably. Right, uh, they're the uh, textbook uh, writers. No, I'm joking. But um, the um, the class, from what I understand, he you know he talks about conspiracy theorists as if it's a study of the absurd. But yeah, as we know, it's conspiracy facts that we deal with, not the you know deemed term of conspiracy theory that they want to use to you know. Well, that's go how against. they pigeonhole us, Bob. Right. Well, how how soon is it before there's a CT 101 in every school? Like, I mean, dude, they already get there to almost that. Almost is. <laughs> yeah, there. It's it's pretty much almost there. You get when you got people like Cass Sunstein. I'm reading uh, David Ray Griffin's book about uh, his paper and everything. Griffin really tears apart his whole paper, but dude, I mean, this guy in his paper he says that. Uh, can, nine, the nine eleven truth movement itself is very dangerous because it could get people to disbelieve the you know what the what the government wants them to believe, and they might be demotivated to partake in in government activities like the war well, on if, terror. Exactly, and but if there was no need to be, you know, if if it was all on the up and up, there wouldn't be that issue, would there? Exactly. If everything was justified, JJ, there wouldn't. Why panic? Why, why exactly. be so upset? Why have you know? Why have such a stick up your ass about it? If there's nothing to hide, if there's exactly. nothing if to hide, got, you have nothing you're not to hide. Doing nothing, you got nothing to hide, right? Isn't that what Eric Schmidt said? That's what they he, all say to he us. Questioned about you know why Google was going through people's emails and everything else, and he said, "Well, if you've got nothing to hide, then you shouldn't be worried." Yeah, and half of America thinks, "Well, if I got nothing, you know, if I'm not doing anything wrong, then I don't care if it keeps me safe." But how safe does it really keep you, man? You thought you were safe September 10th, 2001. You thought you were safe the day before the OKC bombing, you know. Well, we were safe from, you so know. So right now, we are, do, does, does people think they're, yeah, it does. Do well, people think they're safe until the next attack? And then we'll have to get safer again after that? Well, no, that's the problem. See, they're going to, I really think they're going to pull something off. I just have this feeling, and I don't know if anybody else can feel it, but it's like almost like I can feel it in the air. And I just see all the warning signs. I'm actually working on a video. I'm putting a video together to show to to expose it because you could just see it in the, yeah, the all these up. all these reports on CNN. Homegrown terrorists. You know, you get Adam Gadon comes out and says, "Go to gun shows because it's easy. You can buy oh, fully automatic joke. weapons at a gun show," which is total crap. You can't. That's just that's that's a talking point memo yeah, from the federal the government. That's just you got people reading. in the city pop by going, yeah, that's right, man. We got to ban gun shows. Yeah, of course, because they're stupid. They don't know anything. <laughs> but this guy's reading a literal talking points memo, JJ, because th what he was saying was the that's the that's the party line that the government uses and that the anti-gun lobby uses. And then conveniently, like what two and a half weeks ago is when it happened. Now all of a sudden they arrest these guys that were going to go attack. Um, the the MEP Center, which is the Military Entrance Processing Center, up in uh, uh, up in Washington State, and they were going to attack it in retaliation for the soldiers that were kill, you know, doing the trophy killings and all this other stuff. But they caught the guys before they could go do it. But they were going to go get guns and they were going to buy guns legally. They, this was one of the big things in the story. They were going to go pick up guns legally and then go shoot up the army base. Rah! They were inspired by Adam Gadon. Oh, it's all horse crap. Adam Gadon's grandfather is 
the president of the ADL. Yes. Oh, but let's not let's not pay attention to that. that wow. Sense. Yeah, exactly. Let's not pay attention to that, though, right? That's just a fucking. Oh, pardon my French. That's just a coincidence. You know, let's not let's not worry about the the serious issues. Let's watch you know, the, the Casey Anthony. And I can't even say the woman's name without vomiting in my mouth anymore because it's ridiculous. Even yeah, RT should, justice should have already prevailed. We should not be hearing about it anymore. Dude, it's to the point RT is doing a weekly show where they show like different things versus the, the mainstream media coverage. It's ridiculous. We're going to break. We're gonna go pay some bills. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. This is down the rabbit hole on the Orion Fox Radio Network. And no return, nigga, you better believe this Mary Magdalene giving birth to the children of Jesus The evolution of the world, bloody and dramatic Human beings killing monkeys to conquer the planet The kingdoms of Africa and Mesopotamia Machine gun your body with depleted uranium This is the age of micro...